liner stains and that's spanning all the way from my eyebrows to my helix to my belly button. So let's get started with washing my hands. My hands are clean. Next, I'm going to brush my teeth because I have a tongue piercing and I have four lip piercings. So we got to get those clean. So now the inside of my mouth is clean, so we're going to jump into the outer piercings. I'm going to start with the lower piercing first, which is my belly button. So I got my Q-tips here, my salt water here, or sea salt water, and I also got sea salt spray. Now I use this on my fresher piercings which would be my helix and my, um, my left snake bite and my right eyebrow piercing. So this is what these ones are going to be used on. So take fresh Q-tips. Don't worry, I'm wearing shorts. So I'm going to dip a clean one into the sea salt and I'm going to start at the top. And work my way down. I'm also going to move the piercing, take the fresh side, kind of soak a little in there. Okay, now I can move it up and down. Yeah. Now my belly button's completely healed, like yeah. I can go like this and down, and it doesn't bug me. So. I know that my belly button is completely healed. So that's it for the belly button. Pretty easy, right? Next I'm going to show you how I clean the out, outer parts of my lip piercings and 
also how I get away all the grime that's in behind them. So I take a clean Q-tip, once again, dip it in the sea salt, and wipe around the hoop. Kind of scrub a little bit, because this one's newer. And take the dry side. And wipe away and a grind that may have been in the back. Now that one's done, I'm going to take the spray. Aria leaves the toilet alone. I'm going to close my mouth and I'm going to spray the outside. Then I'm going to take some toilet paper just to dry it off. Just the excess to stuff that dripped down my chin. Leave the toilet alone please. Hey babes. Another clean Q-tip to clean the other side. Now this side's not as fresh, that's why the piercings, this, that's why this one looks smaller than this one. This one I can switch, like I can change probably next Saturday, so next week. <clears throat> so then they'll actually match. And now for the upper piercings, which are these two right here. Now these are more healed. <clears throat> these are more healed. This one is about uh, probably three, four weeks old, and then this one is just a week, uh, a week um, younger than it, because we ended up having to re-pierce this one because it migrated in the back a little bit, lower down, and so this is about three weeks old now. So if you look, you can see there's no swelling, no puffiness, no nothing in any of them. And I just Hey guys, sorry about that. My phone ended up stopping the recording because I ran out of space. So I had to take some of the, uh, some of the other videos off. So I'm going to grab my brush and I'm going to put my hair up. Just enough so that I can reach the helix when I get up there. Okay. So, I already cleaned this one. So we're going to jump into the eyebrows now. Clean Q-tip. Push it up. Clean around, push it down, and clean around. Take the clean side and do the same for the other one. Clean around, push down, and clean around. Now for the difficult one. I want to spray this one too. There we go. Alright, so this one is the freshest one. It's only two days old. So, you gotta be very gentle going around the jewelry.
Now there's still a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of blood, but that's to be expected in the first few days. I'm going to clean behind as best as I can with how I can see it. Take another fresh one, wipe in there, this is still a little bit of blood in there. There we go. Now I am going to take some toilet paper. I'm going to hold it underneath and I'm going to spray my ear. Now I'm going to take a clean Q-tip and just clean out my ear because I did spray it. So now I'm going to do this and I have to move it no matter how much it hurts. With all piercings, especially ear piercings, you want to move them at least a little bit so that they don't get fused in, in place. That one hurt. Okay, so I'm going to spray it once more. Grab one more clean Q-tip. And wipe any of the blood or anything that could have come off when I was moving them. So that is it for my video. Um, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Leave, uh, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, leave a friendly comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. See you bye. Wave.